All right, so this is step two. You've already downloaded your data from the US Census Bureau's website in the right format, but now we have to clean it up a little bit so we have the right fields and we have the right format to have it ready to pull into the GIS and do some joins with it. So this is some more data cleanup we have to do. So we look at the folder we downloaded. I already mentioned there's the metadata, columns, the data table, and then just the, the metadata description of what you downloaded. The one we need to open up is this data one. So I already have that open behind. And now I've got a couple of things I need to do to clean this up. The first thing is this GeoID field is great, but it has a bunch of additional information in here that I don't need that's going to mess me up. We actually need to remove everything before the US there and along with US. So this long code US, all we really need is that 04001 after that. So how do we remove all of that in kind of a quick, easy way? So if you really know Excel well, then awesome. You can use some formulas and clean that up. This is easy to do manually if you want to, because it's not a lot of records. But if there's a million records or a lot of data, you need to automate this and we can do it pretty quickly in Excel. So we're going to add two new columns. So I just did insert, insert to add columns. And now we're going to basically just copy this to here. And the Census Bureau actually gives a pretty good walkthrough this workflow. So they give you a formula that you can actually put into Excel, which is using the mid formula, which is then going to split off the rest of the kind of part of this that we don't need after US. So I will provide the link to that. And then after we have that copied, you can come in here, just hit equals and paste that formula in. You can see right there, it actually is set up to match perfectly the data set we have. I hit enter and it's just pulling in that 04001 right after the US. And now I can click here and then drag this down to apply it to the rest of the, the rows. So the next thing we need to do is we need to actually take that value and copy it over here. Because right now, if I click on that, it's actually showing me that the value saved in that is the formula. And that's not what we need. So we just need to copy this. So I can do Control C come here and then instead of instead of hitting control v or paste i actually want to go up here and do a special paste and do paste values so paste values and then i get the right values in here now if i select any of these you can see 04003 so it's giving me the right results back now i can come and delete this i can delete this second row so we have one top row, which is going to be our headers for the data. And I'm going to give this a different name, GOID2. So I know this is my shorter one and we're good to go. So I can now save this file or save this as new. So I still have the original and then we can now pull this into the GIS to start doing some spatial joins.